past week, I've done nothing. I've done nothing. Uh, but played Baldur's Gate. And the, the thing is with like, something like that, like an RPG or kind of any, any task is I like to get engrossed. I like to get immersed. And because of this, this trait I have of, of really liking to just delve deep into stuff, I have an issue when it comes to work in which I like to just fully do something so I can focus on other stuff. If I've got one task on, I find it hard to concentrate on anything else. And so with me having a weekly podcast series, I'm honestly finding it hard to think of anything else. And so I'm going to do with the podcast what I did with Baldur's Gate. I'm going to try and finish it in a week. And I just, I just need to cram out a few different ideas. I just need like, I mean, I only need to do 10 podcasts realistically this week. I've done half a year already. They go out every other week. So I only really need to do like another 10. So, so step one of basically anything is, is the idea. Before you start anything, you need the thought of the thing that you're about to do. So step one for me podcasting is having a thought, having some sort of vague concept, basically. And so you basically go out and find inspiration. Step one, find some inspiration, have a thought. Now you can do this in a like, many a different way, right? You can do this in a many a different way. You can go out and touch grass. Um, you could read a book, watch a film, listen, even listen to another podcast, just steal ideas, a yoink and twist, if you will. Basically, find a thing, reflect on the thing, and have some original thoughts. One of my, one of my favorite things to do, if I'm ever stumped for an idea, is I've got like a couple of little books. These two little books, great thought starters. So if, I, if, if I'm ever feeling stumped for a topic, something like this is a go-to where I'll, I'll flip to a random page and then just go, okay, what does this make me think of? We serve our technologies as much as they serve us. I could do a whole episode on what tech I use. Maybe what softwares I use to improve my lifestyle. Okay, where do I go from there? I could talk about I, well, I use Notion a lot, how I optimize Notion, ways software has improved my life to make it easier, ways that technology may get in the way. It's a starting point. Find a starting point, find an initial thought. There's your inspiration. Now, now step two is kind of what I just did. It's chasing, chasing tangents, going down rabbit holes, exploring and fleshing out an idea. Write, write down your script basically so you can read it. But then here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Make, make sure to loop it back to the starting point. If you go too deep down a hole, come back up for air. Bring it back to the starting point. Now it's my pleasure to deny, I mean, to introduce. Thank you very much. Um, I, I think there's just something special about <laughs> just taking a break from reality. As, <laughs> as kind of low-key depressing as that sounds, taking a break from reality. It's good. I think everyone, everyone enjoys it. You know, we, we, as a society, wow, society's come out today. As a society, we love taking breaks. We love immersion we love things like film we love tv we love stories basically people were like well you should stop stop living this life as it were you should stop spending so much of your actual physical life experiencing this fictional life because it's not real 
Yeah, but fuck it. If you're enjoying it, enjoy your time. <laughs> yeah, your your physical health, your physical actual life is more important. Major, majorly more important. You know, without looking after your physical real life, you can't experience it anything else. You know, if you die, if you die in real life, you die in the game. Um, is, is that how that one works? I've literally... This is fucking Joe Sob story again. I so just, just recovered from COVID. Still coughing up. But literally... <laughs> I had COVID last month as well. I've been out three times in the past two months. And got COVID two, two out of those three times. I'm stressing about not getting enough done. <laughs> it's because I've been sick for fucking months, man. With a big old immersive world that I just kind of way way kind of hard on, to be honest. Um, great times, good times. You know, without putting off your physical physical real life, you can't experience things. Like, like, what? Why do? <laughs> why? Why? <coughs> Christ! <clears throat> why do? Why do UK always be in heatwave? I don't know. Anyway, um, hot day, hot day for editing. This is uh, one one done. This is how long my base recording is: twenty five minutes, and then cut down to just over fifteen. And that that is just essentially cutting out all the pauses of thinking. That's all I do. That's all I do essentially for like cutting or cutting out flubs and if I'd redo a lot. My one one major tip. One major tip if you're editing just dialogue or just anything, but when you when you're focusing on audio and you're cutting, you're jump cutting, don't overdo it. Sometimes you need to allow for a pause in the talking for the viewer to process what you're saying. You can't just have constant stuff. You can't you can't have a constant <laughs> bombardment of information. You do need to allow time to process. So if I zoom in here, you can see I I've left pauses. I've I've left little pauses. It's not all bunged up waveform to waveform, but just like these longer ones are kind of cut out. Um so yeah. That's Joe's major one tip of editing audio. I've got really itchy eyes, so. Uh, so the question is, did I do the thing? Did I did I record a year's worth a year's worth of podcasts in a week? No, <laughs> no. Uh, got halfway. Did about five. I, I say about five. I've done the scripts for five. I've recorded four. I've been I've been playing catch up. I got ill. Leave me alone. I got ill. I've been playing catch up and all the other work I have to do. Anyway, please do listen on spotify or other podcasting apps it's called but yeah i realize i haven't said the podcast name up to this point <laughs> but yeah it's on the pickaxe network um leave leave me a, a rating a five star would be good leave leave me a review um i've been told it helps so thank you to everyone that has done it so far they're out every other week